right, guys, so you just finished the essential responder. What were your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I don't know anything. Okay. That's what I, that's what I thought. Um, <laughs> it's, it was a really humbling experience okay. because even I mean. when you try to, like, educate yourself and, you know, train on your own time, you learn so much when you come to class that yeah. you didn't expect, you don't know what you don't know kind of thing. Okay. Do you feel like you learn, you grow, you, oh, you have sure. growth? For sure. Yeah, for sure. You feel more competent in your emergency Absolutely. medical skills? Absolutely. Awesome. What are, are you guys excited about night responders? The first one that we got. You know, what are you expecting? I'm expecting to get killed a few times. Get killed a few times, okay. Um, if it's going to be anything like today or the whole series has been, it's just going to be that much harder because you can't yeah, see. Smoking. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to yeah. be smoked. I, are you I, using I, night vision? I'm not using night vision. You're not using night vision? Nope. You're using night, so no night vision for you guys. Nope. Nope. Oh, you guys going to be floating out there. <laughs> We're, yeah. oh, I'm really excited for you guys. We'll see how you do out in the field, all right? How tired are you guys? Pretty smoked. Smoked. Pretty, smoked. pretty smoked, right? Yeah. Pretty sore. Yep. Um, do you think that this is doable for other people? For sure. Okay, so let's walk through it, right? So you were actually uh, a team leader, so you were controlling uh, uh, people in the field, right? And you, you know military experience, right? You want that, right? You don't have to, I'm freaking not, right? Um, and then you over here, you were working for like a plethora of different hats throughout the entirety of the event, right? Um, whether it's like helping with communications or it's helping advise or if you're pulling security or all these different things right. while you're trying to move through in this SHTF scenario to kind of secure some um, some different objectives, right? right? Some different tasks. What did you think about going against an oppositional force? <laughs> that was the first time really that I've gone up against an oppositional force, mm -hmm. especially in any sort of a night scenario. Yeah. And it was possibly one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do, especially on the fly, learning and adapting. Uh, and rent the nods if you do that. You don't need night vision, but it would have helped. Yes, very okay. much. 100%. Yeah, 100%. So that oppositional force, are you guys, what, what type of lessons are you guys taking back from this? Like, you know, in terms of not just, you know, don't think about the tactics or anything about that, but just like the practical application of day-to-day -day life. Like, what are you guys really, what's soaking in right now at hour 28? So for me, it's, you don't know what you don't know until you experience something like that. Yeah. So now I have a, a list of things that I can go train on. Yep. Because... I didn't know what I didn't know. Yeah, hundred percent. Same to his point, where at, by the end of this, you're just left with a, a list of things to work on, and then the bigger picture things. For me, because I got thrown into a, a team leader role that I'm not necessarily versed in at all, um, it, it, it was communications. Communications is, is the thing where like you don't have a good line of communication with your team with your people with your wife you know what i mean we can practice this stuff every single day in life and that was a, a simple task that we failed on it's so many times it's so many you know also we're not going to um be able to gunfight our way to the in the world. No, 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 that's a really stupid internet thing, isn't it? Sure it? is. No. Uh, especially if you're going against any sort of organized force. And what, and even even an unorganized force even would have smoked unorganized us. Force. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, what did you guys think about working with a bunch of strangers? I mean, so you had a little bit of context, right? So you trained for about 20 hours with these individuals. Mm -hmm. So you had some team building context, but I mean, you weren't always working together. You had small groups or maybe parents or solo things. Um, what was it like going into a scenario with a bunch of people you didn't know? It's intimidating. It's a little bit, um, and I think, you know, there's context that we, you know, if we had known each other, would have made it a lot easier. Yeah. But being strangers, you know, that's also probably developing social skills that we might need. Yeah. You know, to build groups and tribes. And yeah, and so it's one of the reasons we do this, right? So it's twofold. One, um, get you out of your comfort zone of like, I, I always hang out with this person, um, but also, you know, showing you that you can work with people that you don't know, and how do you how do you handle conflict? How do you handle fatigue? How do you handle like oh so and so is hungry and they're acting like a jerk, right? When you don't have a ton of context with them, you know, how do you treat your fellow man with love, with respect, with compassion inside of super stressful events, whether that be at work or at home or at the mall or whatever have you, right? Um, because we talked about this, you know, before the, the night responder, you don't always get to pick right. who's around when an emergency happens. If you show up to a car accident, if you show up to, um, you know, somebody who's been hurt and you're going to try your absolute best to help out, 
whoever's there is whoever's there. Right. And you're not going to have contacts with them. You're not going to have time to be like, hey, tell me three things about yourself. Right. right. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Right. Um, and I would say that you guys did a really, really good job of trying to build that context on the fly, but also stay focused on the mission. Do you feel like the mission kind of unified you guys? I do. Yeah. I do too, because it was such a, it was a heartfelt mission. You know, we're trying to bring medicine and supplies back to our families and people who need it and their right. children. Yeah. You know, there's children who really are sick that need this medicine. And I mean, what greater cause than to keep our kids right. alive? Yeah. I think at the end that helped push us in that last half mile or whatever it was to the finish line was like, hey, don't forget, like, this is why we're doing Because you were running at the end. We were. <laughs> we Mogadishu were. mile, man. <laughs> you were like, well, I think about 90% of our... Uh, our rifles were down. Well, and that's a thing too, right? Oh, for you, sure. So like, it fails. We like, run out we of ammo. All that stuff. What's the point of leapfrogging anybody if you can't <laughs> right. turn fire? Just, just run, get out of there. Can run as fast as you can. Seriously, would you would you guys recommend this to somebody else? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. If you think that you're gonna go out watch a million grand thumb videos or whatever your Insta Instagram operator of choice is and like actually be effective, you are not just kidding yourself. You're delusional. You're a loot. All right. You take a class like this with these guys, spend 12 sure hours with them, drop. just spend 12 hours with them, let them do what they do, and you're gonna learn some things. You're gonna need a piece of humble pie. Everybody needs to eat a piece of humble pie every now and then. Yeah. Yeah. Also, however much PT you're doing is not enough. Yeah, no, 100%, right? <laughs> if you ain't fit, you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's that's one of the best things your anthem's ever gonna uh, has ever that's, said. It's one know? quit, bro. You're not fit, you're gonna die. <laughs> you're um, fit. And, and that is super duper real. So, guys, um, Take a moment and, and look at yourself and see what training you are doing. How are you investing into yourself in skill sets rather than just in gear and in, and in nylon and play carriers, all these different things. Take a moment and look at what are you doing seriously to make yourself an asset, not just to the people around you, but also to yourself to live a healthier, better life with purpose, with skills, with problem solving ability. You guys are capable of so much more than you realize. And sometimes it takes just some hard stuff to really realize that. So if you guys have any questions about Night Responder, about Essential Responder, go ahead and leave a comment in the section down below. Or you can email us, admin at refugemedical.com, uh, admin at refugetraining.com. You can also always call the store. Or if you want to just check it out, head on over to the website, www.refugemedical.com. We love you guys. And please, please, please keep training. And carry an effing tourniquet. Yeah.